Hey everyone, Corey here. Coming in to do the energy update. This one is for the week of October 24th, 25th, and it is in the coming through the last few days of the of the eclipse energy. We have a lunar eclipse that will be happening. We are now in Scorpio season, and we also have a full moon coming up. So many things are taking place. So many things are happening. Um and so this energy and where it is, this is my third go at recording this. Um, I, I think I will share the last one as well. So you'll have two for this week. But the other one really, truly feels as if somehow we're being lectured. <laughs> somehow we're getting like this, this like being told that we have to step into this adulting energy. And it's true. So what this energy gives to us is a great opportunity to for resolution. But it's also in the sense of where where we kind of where we meet the middle of the road where we meet that where we we meet the perfect storm so we have all elements that are very actively involved in this energy and it was as if i couldn't escape it as i was coming through all day today i have been so angry this is the 25th and i have felt myself in the in the anger of the energy so like not me being angry personally, but I could feel the anger of the energy. Um, and I could feel this like iron tea kind of energy that just kept following me all day. And it's like, stop, stop, stop allowing old thoughts to get in. And so, you know, as in the archetypes in the queen energy, she can become the tyrant very easily right? It's, it's all in the, it's all in the story we tell ourselves. It's all in the energy that we exist in. Whew. And so we have, a we have, we have some, we definitely have some energy that is, that is stormy. We have all elements at works. So we have everything that is to create the perfect storm. We have water energy. We have earth energy or we have water, we have fire, we have air, and then we have the earth itself that is that is kind of more solid in there. But what's in and what works through the earth, the fire, the water, the air, all that works through the earth as well is, is rising somehow. And we have the ether. So we have all the elements for the perfect storm. Be careful of arguments. Be careful of of getting into disagreements be aware of your of your thoughts coming words and reactions and responses that are not that they're not warranted but they may become bigger than they need to be you may say something that is that you can't take back remember when your words come out you cannot put your words back in they're out and so once they're out you can't put them back in the box even if you can even if you ask for forgiveness and apologize the thought is still, you still left that thought and it's lingering out there. And the sting is still there and the hurt is still there. And it happens and it happens to the best of us. Um, I myself had an experience with it earlier today myself. Um, not severe, but a little bit. Caught myself in the action with partner, with husband. Um, but I've been having these continual repeat premonitions and dreams that have been coming and it does speak of something coming in that's probably not so pretty and the perfect storm it's like when all things collide so there is a collision a collide of energy that's coming in and i see the possibility of you know an outside source getting involved in in the war um that is happening in the in the fights that are taking place within the world right now um and i just keep seeing and i knew it, that everything just told me i could see israel and i just kept being told that um like the people being moved or moving the people out of the way that something like i just seen something coming in like a big explosion or something like that like i want to say i almost felt like bomb like I, I just kept seeing a big like it lit up like mushroom cloud type of energy so it's like a mushroom cloud i seen this big explosion and and then i and then it was as if the premonition took me to like the seas parting and i could see the seas parting don't not follow me for this premonition um this is what was just kept revisiting my 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 trance 
journeys that I take in, in being a trans channeler and being able to exist in and being a mystic and existing in communicating with those who existed in the past and now and to what is to come to the future. And I, and I feel, and everything in my, everything in my heart, everything in my soul says anything can change. And that in the blink of an eye, we can, we can shift energy and stuff can change very quickly. So it was, what was, it's what I was seeing. It doesn't mean it's all what's to come through all the way through, but I want to bring that into us and bring that into ourselves of, you know, we can be our, we can be destruction in our own lives. We can be the destruction in other people's lives. It's be very aware and very careful right now of your words, of your language. And if you really don't know something and you don't understand it, if you have a preconceived assumption that you've made, if you've created a story in your head, don't don't let it come out and get bigger than it needs to be. Don't turn you know molds mold hills into mountains. Be be aware in your relationships. We do have a lot of this water energy that's reflecting around. We also then got the fire coming in, and I just see the ring of fire around the water energy. And of course, this is a lunar eclipse that we do have coming. So I see this reflection of the flames and the water. And so if you have people in your life or if you're in a relationship with water, with a water sign and you're a fire or, you know, if you're a fire sign and you're in relationships with the water, it's be careful of not dampening the fire of somebody who's a fire sign, not trying to flow over and into that, you know, dampening their energy, but water on fire can put fires out. And sometimes we need to really truly use the right get into the right emotional state shift into shift our mindsets to be able to walk through the fires to walk through the flames to to get to the other side of a complication a challenge or a um some sort of energetic pull that may be existing in your life and in your relationships in your life um the earth feels like the earth just feels like it is moving. I kept seeing the great flood. So in yesterday's message, and it didn't come through in my earlier message today. So that's why I believe I have two messages happening here is I kept seeing like this great flood. And I'm going to say it as it is like Noah's Ark kind of flood. Like I just see, see a floodgate of, of water. So it could be, it could be a floodgate of emotions. It could be an overflow of emotions that brings about something that the, when you fuel the, when you, when you fan the flames, uh, we get that sense of uprise. And I spoke about this a few weeks ago and I just kept seeing something taking place in, you know, in Canada, the U S or France, or it could be all three that is, you know, that kind of gets people to stop in their tracks and say, what are we doing? And why are we doing this? What is happening? So I don't know, like, where this feels like it is, but I keep seeing being met with challenges. It's a, you know, this, this energy that we have could be the opportunity to create the most beautiful of situations. So turn it, turning it around and using this energy to be, to be light, to be love, to bring about beautiful transformation in our lives. It also brings about, comes with endings. And what story needs to end? What old narrative has such a hold? And um, and I always say when these videos go out, it always kind of is a, um, it's funny how when something does go, I get messages from people, oh my God, did you just, this just happened. Um, it is a time of where fates are, are playing out now in the other message that I recorded I there was a lot of channeling around releasing of the past we're not where we were you know 2000 years ago you know we have to revisit we have to kind of walk backwards into it revisit it and see it for what it really was we are not our ancestors we are newer we are the generations that have followed since and we have an opportunity to grow those stories and evolve them into a new sense of maturity 
and wisdom because we have gained new information. We have learned a lot more. And if we just keep regurgitating, regurgitating the old stories, the old energy and not allowing them the space to grow. If our ancestors were here now, they'd probably say, oh, I believe that to be true because that's all we knew. Now that I've got further information, there is something new, then that is not the whole truth. And so there's a lot of revelations that is coming up for me. And I feel the sense of a lot of the revelations that are coming are about us being able to have aha moments, recognize things within our lives, see things differently, look in at the world from a different, from a, from a new perspective or from a new set of emotions. How can we be the change we want to see in this world? And that's, that's a lot of what we have. And so whatever I feel that's happening out there, I'm like, imagine it coming into us and, and making it, you know, a part of who we are, like a, who we are in this moment. What do we have happening? And what do we need to change? So I am asking for the cards to be involved in this one. I don't know why, but we'll see what it brings to us. Um, See, Ten of Wands, the past. Stop carrying that weight, right? It's like, why is there such a desire to be caught in the past? Of course, this full moon this weekend is that reflection. It is reflecting upon the areas that we need to put our focus into our own healing, our own journey. And if we look over here, there's two stags. So, you know, the hunter is not really hunting. The hunter is carrying all of this. This could be use. These two over here could be useful to this, to this hunter. I'm going to call it the hunter to the hunter. That's right here. But instead he's so focused on what he's carrying that he can't see all the rest of what he needs is right there for him. Um, and so there is a sense of when he comes into a, you know, a new truth, a new understanding, judgment. We got the judgment card coming in. And so, you know, when, when humans pass judgment, we live with often without forgiveness. We often live in a, um, in creating a story that somebody can never ever change, that somebody will never change. They're not the, they're not the, they're not the same or they'll always be the same person. They'll always do the same thing. So there's really no sense of mercy. It's often, and it's for us to show others mercy and to show ourselves mercy, for us to open up. Will we Will we as little individuals right here be the change? No, not, in, not on the world scale. The world needs something, especially through the whole Eastern, you know, things that are happening is that, and because of, where we are, I have to be very aware of my words. Um, it's not us, it's not us that'll make the, it's not us small people that make the change, right? It has to be something that becomes a, a revelation, a miracle, an in, a divine intervention. And a divine intervention is what is needed on that bigger scale. So where are you passing judgment in your life? And you know, what, how are you judging a situation? Are you looking in? And I just feel the trumpets. And if you've ever been very connected to the angels, if you've ever been very connected to the angels, the way that I know I have, there was a period of time a few years ago where every single night I would hear the trumpets, I would hear music and I would hear like singing. And it was so beautiful. And I would have to get up out of my, I'd wake from my sleep and I'd have to go search and look for this as if it was really in my house, as if there was somebody really up playing music, playing instruments, playing, in, playing music within my home. And I would always get up and look for it. And one night I went to get up and this hand reached in and it was Archangel Gabrielle and pushed me like just pushed me gently back and said, it's time for you to get up and look for you. Not to get up and keep trying to find us. 
we're here for you. And I do feel as if the angelic realm is coming in for us. And I and it was the old ancient ones, the wise ones, the old ancient, they're ancient angels. It's the way I see them. They're old angels. And also the presence of the Magi and the wise ones and the arrival again. And what is arriving? Who's arriving? You know, are you always feeling the sense that something is coming, something's about to happen, something is about to change? Who's arriving? What's arriving? And is it you? Is it the best and truest version of you that you are waiting for to arrive? Who, who are you waiting for? And what are you waiting for in life? And it feels like whatever it is, if we just allow ourselves to be with ourselves, to stay and not run, don't rush out, don't get distracted, heal, deal, the things that need to be dealt with now, so that you're not on the chase. And how they gave this to me today, today, actually, again, was I had all these ideas, I'm going to go into TELUS, I was mad at TELUS, I was, I had signed up for that, give it back for your phone, but then they're telling me I can't give my phone back. Uh, so I was all angry, and I was going to go bring the phone back. So I'm like, I'm going to tell us, and then I'm going to go see my granddaughter. So I'm going to go drop off this bag of clothes and I'm going to go do this. And I'm going to go do that. And I just heard, stop, sit down. And the same hand that put his hand on my shoulder with Archangel Gabriel back a couple of years ago, when I heard all the singing was today, I was hearing the dis disruptive energy. Today, I was hearing the, the amplified as if the volume has been turned up of the darkness trying to distract us, trying to get us on the run. And everything's, don't go run away. Don't go run away. Don't go get distracted. Don't go getting into an argument. Don't deal with those things today. Sit, sit. And so I made myself a tea. I sat in a rocking chair and I just rocked with my tea and sat there and nurtured and comforted whatever needed to be done so that I could get clarity to come back to myself and to look at, you know, and not judge the situation, but recognize that we are constantly being pulled back or being pushed in. But if we trust the process, it may be something very divine, celestial, alien, that may be connecting to you to guide you through. And if you let go that you have to do it all by yourself, if you can see the world beyond and the higher self can really truly help us to see letting go of the emotional, well, the emotional self, not living in the emotions, not swimming in the seas of getting lost in, in the emotions, but climbing up and out. It's amazing what you shall find. And the higher self can teach us a great deal about releasing that which is causing us the suffering. So there is always the third, right? It's this, that, and then there's a truth. There's this, that, so there's the mind, there's the heart, and then there is the divine, there's spirit. And spirit is always trying to help us co-create the most beautiful, perfect life, the perfect life for us. What is an alignment to us? What is, my, what is that dream life for me? And what does that look for? So the five of cups brings us to this place of, you know, sometimes it feels as if in this perfect storm, it's despair, as if, you know, we focus on what is ending, but we can't see what is behind us. We can't see what's to come. We can't see what's going to come rushing in. And the more that we, you know, sit there in the despair and in the anger, the more despair and anger we build around us. But if we restore the sense of hope, the sense of faith, if we allow ourselves to be pushed back, pushed forward, whatever that may be, and trusting the guides and the angels to take us to that place, life can become more of a place of peace because chasing peace will never bring peace. If we find ourselves in that situation of where 
we know we want this, but yet we're at war within ourselves. We're still in discord with everybody and everything around us and in life. We're still arguing and fighting over something that that will never have a you know its full resolve, not from the old stories, but making peace with what is. We'll never fully know a full truth. We'll know when we go home, but we will not know here. Then we can make peace with the things that have been the most challenging for us. Now, every time I bring these conversations in and channel them in, it's about us. And it's about what's happening within us and about the perfect storm or the chaos we create in our own lives, the drama, the resistance that we get caught in, um, the joy, the happiness. It's always about something that is linking and tying into us. So I say, what is out here in the micro, in the, the macro, bring it into the micro, right? Like bring it into self, chunk it back down, break it down into small pieces. And how does these messages serve me? So something good is trying to happen, but as long as all we can see is something bad, we can't see the something good. So there is a lot of really good on the other side. This energy can be used either way. It's the same as the three of wands. Is the ship going out or is the ship coming in? What's happening? Is the ship going out or is the ship coming in? And so he's holding everything. He's, you know, he's got everything here. He's made his choice. And I just feel like once you make a choice to choose to step into love, to step into light, to step into surrender, to step into release, to step into, you know, celebrate self, whatever it is, is that everything you need will start to come towards you. Everything that'll be for you will begin to start to flow into your lives. The divine knows what we need more than what we, more than what we do. Our soul knows, a higher self knows. There is this sense of just knowing. And if we learn to listen and trust with the right ears, the right heart, get to the right place, we can really truly be a part of the change that we want to exist in within our world and within our lives. Harmony comes in, but we, but chaos, dark forces, um, the, the immaturity of society, um, the need to control, the being led by fear stories have like turned up the volume. It is amplified and it is everywhere. What is our real truth? What is the truth that aligns to us? And what truth do I need to really truly hear? Now I'm going into the everyday goddess oracle. The unveiling scarlet. And so I would say sometimes she's that essence of, for me, it's like the devil card. It's almost like she's sometimes looking over her shoulder because she fears that which is outside of her. And, and we, she fears to, you know, show all of who she is because the world can be unkind and we can be as unkind to ourselves as the world can be unkind. But she ultimately knows because she is being, because she has the golden light wrapped around her that, and through the storm, through all that has happened is that she may be checking over her shoulder, but she knows she has to reveal and reveal her deepest truths. And so if you're in relationships and there's healing to be done, there is no better time to reveal the truths, to reveal what is hurting, to reveal what is bothering you, because then you can use the, the power of this energy to be a powerful force of change, a powerful force of healing, a powerful, forceful energy of love, and you can utilize all that is rising in this energy. Um, so much is happening. So much is happening. And it keeps going back to ownership, responsibility, and accountability. We are responsible for creating the life that we want to live. And this is a time, like I said, of this time to really step into the archetype of the adulting and being able to step into the adult and what does adulting look like? And we have to start adulting that sense of unmet needs, the nurturing we need, um, emotional areas in our lives where we have been trapped, stuck, um, unhealthy habits and behaviors that have that have crippled 
led to self-destruction, self-prophecy that have taken us further away from the things that matter the most and to step into the adulting and just saying, I, once I start dissecting, separating, it's no different than cleaning out your closet, put it where it belongs, place things where it belongs and some things are not yours, giving it back, taking back your own light and stepping into your own energy and just knowing that some things are meant to go into the junk pile. And some meant the junk pile is not meant to hang out in your house. It's meant to go as far away from you as possible, which means clear that shit up and dispose of any of the old energy and believe in the miracles and believe in the changes that can take place. And just like that, we can go from such a fear story to such a faith story and have something to celebrate in a matter of minutes. There is always a divine intervention, and this is the time of where divine interventions may just be appearing in our lives. Much love. Have a beautiful week, and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.